Hi, I'm Molly Cook. I teach writing workshops for San Diego Writers Inc. And I'll be teaching a workshop in September for poets who would like to enter the Steve Coet Poetry Competition. Steve was one of our beloved San Diego poets and after his passing, the San Diego Entertainment and Arts Guild established a poetry competition in his name. I was the first winner of that competition in 2016 and I have the poem, my winning poem, because I'm going to be teaching poets a little bit about how to enter a writing competition and what to think about when they're entering a poetry competition. So here's my poem, Love Song with Flip Chart and Pointer. It is a love song, but not your ordinary love song. Here is the place it began. If you look to the right in this drawing, there in the corner, you'll see the waterfall. Forgive me. I'm clumsy with the brush, the pen, the crayons. The waterfall looks like an elephant, I know, but you'll recognize it, the waterfall where we began. Just to the left, near the center of the page, is the bridge. You can't see the old man who rested on the bridge, but you might recall that he was there and smiled as we passed by. Here on the next chart, I have plotted out the progress of our venture. First, we have the moderately steep climb from the waterfall and bridge to the two weeks we spent in Tucson, after which there was a predictable decline. You wanted Italy, I know, but looking here at the next page where I've charted the relevant financial data, you can clearly see that Italy was not possible that year. The real downturn had not begun by then, but if you look at this graph, you can begin to note its progress. Here is Tucson, as you see. Here is the engagement party. And here, just before the promised trip to Florence, the line continues up. Then, after the long and tedious art disagreement over the lost luggage and the flirtatious waitress in that small cafe, the line drops sharply and then drops again, beyond the point of recovery and finally off the chart. In closing, I would like to say I never meant to have it end like this. I always thought some major upturn from some unforeseen coincidence would give us one last chance, but many a fool and her heart have been parted by such optimistic speculation. I have included here another drawing, but even if I squint, I'm sorry, I no longer recognize it. I believe it might be either my clumsy attempt at a map of our bankrupt affair, or wait, perhaps it is Orion in the night sky over the Ponte Vecchio. You have to go outside the normal, ordinary frame of poetry to get there. When I teach poetry or any of the writing, I always tell people, tell us what's different about what you have to say. Lots of people have written about trees and flowers and trips, terrible things that happen in their lives. But what makes your situation different? What can you bring to it that is not the ordinary view? That's really important in competitions because I'm also a juror for some writing competitions in Maine. And I know from reading the entries, there are a lot of good pieces of writing, but it's the ones that are different that jump right out at you. If you're familiar with Steve Coet's poetry, and many people in the San Diego area are, part of the competition entry rules are don't try to write your poem like Steve Coet did because he had his own voice for the poetry. Trying to imitate another poet's voice is just going to bring you trouble. We want your voice. The competition wants your voice. We want to hear what you have to say. The competition is open now and it's open until October 15th. Um, you can find it online. You can find it at the San Diego Entertainment and Arts Guild website. 
the competition. The first prize, by the way, is $1,000 for one poem. That's really good pay for a little poem. Um, and the class I'll be teaching will be September, uh, let's see, we're doing it September 6th and September 13th. Here at Writers Inc. from 12 to 2, those are Thursdays. And we'll be talking not only about Steve Coet and the, the competition, but about your poems. You'll be doing writing. And we'll be looking at those together, giving you feedback, helping you make your poem the best it can possibly be so you can enter the competition really confident. You could win that $1,000. And if you don't, the second and third prizes are $500 and $300. That's pretty good too. So that's where we are with the Steve Coet Prize.